Hi, Eric Gibault, ericgibault.com, and today I'm going to tell you my five photography tips for the month of July uh, 2017. I was lost in the year. Okay, let's start. So, before uh, getting, getting any further, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash my website ericgibault.com, and if you have any question, you can send me an email to info at ericgibault.com. Today, I'm, as you saw maybe in another video, I'm uh, organizing a van so I can use it as a photography accessory, uh, staying there, uh, travel, all this. So uh, I stopped uh, making some things in there and to, just to record these five tips for July 2017, okay? So let's start with tip number one. Uh, maybe like me, you you drive around with your car and you have your your camera gear in a in a bag, a camera bag, and you just put it on the seat of your of your car. If you do this, don't forget to put the seat belt on your uh, for for your bag, because very often you we if you brake really strong, uh, the the bag can actually fall fly forward, and uh, what's in there may be broken. I know that some people uh, say that uh, they put uh, their bag on the floor. I recommend not to do this because there are, there are a lot more vibration. I remember uh, having a telemeter uh, problem with a, a Leica because I had some vibration on, in, the, uh, in the car and I had put it on the floor. So uh, if you can, uh, put it on the, seat, uh, on the available seat and uh, put the seat belt. Uh, it will give some safety to your gear too, not just to you, also to your gear. Tip number two, very often we walk around with the camera bag on uh, 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 like a back sack, uh, a, a, a back bag. Uh, and uh, the problem is that uh, if we want to change the battery or the memory card, we have to take it off. And uh, it's not very practical sometimes or the place is not perfect or there is some dust that could get uh, in the bag. It's not uh, very... Uh, something I should recommend. So I advise you to always have in your uh, pocket an, a, a full, fully charged battery and on an empty, uh, an empty uh, memory card. So this way you don't have to open your bag, you just change it and change cards. And uh, if you carry several empty memory cards in your, in, in your pocket, uh, when you change it, uh, put the fully uh, the, 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 ca the memory card that is full, put it in another pocket so you don't mix them, okay? But that's something really practical and uh, this way you don't waste so much time. Sometimes it's not just because it's uh, more practical, it's sometimes it's because it's, you are making action pictures and uh, if you if you take time you just waste uh, some time and lose pictures okay so do this if you can tip number three print 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 your pictures uh, it's incredible that i have more pictures uh, of me when i was a kid uh, made by my parents that uh, than the number of pictures i have of my own daughters why? Because we don't print, we forget to print. And every year, thousands of people lose every picture they have of their kids or important moments just because they have only a digital version. So I recommend that like three, every three or four or six months or once a year, you make a selection, or you make a selection of your favorite pictures and you send them for printing and you have a paper version. So uh, if anything would happen, you have this paper and uh, you have this version that is, uh, of course, it can be burnt if you have a fire at home, but uh, I think it's less likely you have a, your, your home burned down uh, than a, a, a hard drive that fails. I know that many people make backups, uh, I do too, but uh, you never know what can happen. I remember you do print your favorite pictures. Tip number four. Uh, very often we walk around and uh, we want to make pictures and uh, we're making pictures and then we want to change lenses. So the problem is when you change lenses, uh, maybe it's a dusty uh, situation or humid situation. So I recommend that uh, you never do this. I mean, if you join this situation, you should, should decide what lens you're going to use before going in this uh, ambient. Or you should carry a small plastic bag like a shopping bag or a rubbish bag, 
doesn't take much space, uh, not too large, but uh, enough to put your camera in there, the both lens, well, the lens you're going to change and take off the other one. And then you can, then you put your hands in there without looking, you re put your hand in there and then you, you, you touch and feel and you change the lens. This way uh, you avoid having dust getting into your camera. Don't forget that your life of your camera uh, ex your life expectancy, uh, the, you, yours no, your camera life is expectancy uh, really depends on the way you're going to treat uh, your camera when changing lenses because if you get humidity or whatever in there that may be a really big problem okay so don't forget use a bag to change your lenses Tip number five, uh, in the North Hemisphere right now, it's summer, uh, although today it's raining here where I am, uh, I'm in France, but um, uh, many people go to the beach and they want to make uh, pictures. And very often what they do, they place the person uh, facing the sun, so the light is nice on their face, they, they, they think is this way they're not in the dark. But the problem with this is that the person looks like this. I mean, they really make faces like this because the sun uh, really is blinding them. So I advise you do just the other way around. You turn them, put the sun in the back, and then you use a flash on your camera. This way, their face is lighted and uh, they don't make funny faces. The problem with this is if your flash is not powerful enough, then the sky will be burnt anyway. Uh, so I recommend uh, taking the picture from the top. So this way you have sand on the background. You don't have really the sea or the sky. Okay. So, but this way the face will be a lot more uh, friendly and a uh, lot, lot nicer. Okay. These were the five tips for uh, July 2017. Thank you for watching them. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash My website, ericgibault.com. If you have any question, you can send me an email to info at ericgibault.com. And my Facebook, facebook.com slash photo, My Instagram, ericgibault. My Twitter, ericgibault. And my Google, plus, plus, Thank you very much. Goodbye.